Hi, I'm Erin Hudson, and I'm a reporter at The Real Deal. Last week, I wrote a story about Intro 1423, a proposed bill that would cap the commission rental brokers can earn on a transaction. The bill currently states that tenants can't be on the hook for fees exceeding one month's rent. The proposal first surfaced back in February with the backing of 25 city council members. It immediately encountered fierce backlash from rental brokers, many of whom told me they wouldn't be able to stay in the business if it became law. OLR and Brokerage Level Group are both circulating petitions, and the Real Estate Board of New York is even helping some of its members arrange meetings with their local representatives. Fast forward to now, and at least three city council members have withdrawn their support for the bill. But there's also some confusion brewing about what this proposed bill will actually do. One of its prime sponsors, uh. council member Keith Powers, has a different vision for what Intro 1423 should do than what is currently written. He says that the idea is to prevent a renter from paying for a broker that they didn't hire themselves. But for some who've heard Power's perspective, like Rebney, they say they need to continue mobilizing against the bill because, as is currently written, it caps rental brokers' commissions. At least one broker told me that he's hearing from landlords that they're going to increase the rents if the law forces them to pay for their own brokers to make up for the difference. So where are we now? Right now, the bill is being considered by the Committee on Housing and Buildings and has 21 sponsors, including the public advocate, Jamani Williams. A hearing is not yet scheduled, but we're staying on the story. So keep reading The Real Deal, and thanks for watching.